Today is training day here at the Snack Shack. We have someone new that's going to be joining the family. That's what I like to think of it as, a family, really. Uh, I'm not so much a boss as I am a friend, a friend first, even though technically I am their superior, I am the authority here. But first, I'm a friend, maybe even their best friend. People love me here. I've been called the world's greatest boss, and frankly, I deserve it. Boys, we have a new addition to our family here at the Snack Shack. This is Philip. Philip, this is Jim. Hi, Jim. Dwight. How are you doing? Hello. Yeah. Hi, Dwight. And as you know, I'm Michael. And this is all of our lovely product we have here. Wow, you have a lot of product. Yeah. Wow, what a lovely color. Yeah, the new guys seem pretty cool. You know, it's it's going to be nice to have someone else part of our sales team. Um, yeah, it seemed really nice. And, you know, hopefully we can uh, help them not turn into another Dwight. You know, to the, to the dark side of sales in the office. You know what's really neat is that the word Dwight and dark both start with a D. So it's like Dwight side, the dark side. I never thought of that before. I know, but I like him. Seems like he'll be cool. Back in my days as a volunteer Dungeons and Dragons consultant, I trained many young explorers how to navigate the depths of Dungeons and Dragons. I think this Philip has potential. I need to train him to be my Padawan learner. Primarily what that involves is following protocol. If he does not do protocol, I will slay him. Hi, how can we help you? Um, I want to buy some... Hi, how can we help you? I want some candy. What would you like to have? Um, I think I want... Don't touch the candy, please. Until you buy it. No, it's it, it's okay to let him touch the candy oh, sometimes. Yeah. Go ahead, you can touch it. Feel it. Can I have one of these? Sure, go ahead. Okay. Would you like some gummy worms? There are two for five cents. Okay. Um. Don't touch the gummy worms without gloves. One in every 20 child that touches candy without gloves dies in the hospital. If they take more than two, go ahead and just give it to them for five cents. It's okay. It's not okay. a big deal. That'll be seven and a half That'll cents. Be... You need an extra two and a half cents to buy that. But I don't How... have seven and a half cents. How do you get a half a cent? You will find a penny and you will cut it in half. Or you may do labor in the back room. Guys, 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 what's the problem here? What's going on? Well, uh, she got Three we, have a, we have a thief here. She is trying to steal candy. Well, she's two not, and a half cents. It's two. Oh no! It's two and she's touching all the candy, Boys. killing possible customers. Boys, if the little lady wants to have an extra gummy worm, give it to her. Well, that's, that's what I was thinking. Not show weakness. I'm just saying she's a good customer. Women like strong men. So that'll be a I dollar and five cents, please. Okay. The scorpion never uses his claws to stun his prey. He always waits and uses his tail, which is full of venom. And when Michael undermines me like that in front of customers, it just pumps the venom into my tail. But I'm not just an ordinary scorpion. I'm a scorpion with ABEC 5 wheels. Well, it is our company's policy to charge the same amount on every purchase for every item. But I like to keep my customers happy. I like them to think of me as a friend, maybe even their best friend. And so sometimes I have to just bend some of the rules. And some of my best customers are ladies, if you know what I mean. And in order to keep them happy, I have to, again, bend some of the rules. And I don't understand what the problem is, me being the authority, still a friend, but of course the authority in the end.